In this video we're going to look at creating a moving image known as a GIF. Now the first thing you need to do is actually get the photos that you want to put together to create this moving image. Your best bet is to get photos that are the same size and resolution. I've just grabbed a few from the internet that I could find that have a similar theme for the purpose of the tutorial. The first thing you need to do is import your photos that you're going to use. I'm going to go to File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. I then need to find where I saved them. I've just got mine on the desktop. Once you've selected all of your files, press open. You'll notice here all of the files have been loaded into our stack and to bring these in, I'm going to press OK, which will put them into my layers. You'll notice here I now have a photo on each individual layer. You'll notice my photos are all different sizes, so they're a little bit all over the place. To bring up the option for animation, I'm going to go to Window, Timeline. And down the bottom here, I've got a space now where I can actually animate these images to create my GIF. I'm going to click on the arrow here, Create Frame Animation, and I'm going to press that button. Once I've got this and I've got all of my layers into my timeline here, I'm going to go to the menu item over here and go make frames from layers. This is going to take each individual photo on a different layer and make it one frame each. As you can see now, I've got five frames with the five different images. I actually want this image to be last, so I'm going to click and drag it to go there. I want this image to be first, so I'm going to put it there. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now I can press play here and I can see my animation playing very quickly. There are some other options over here. You can reverse the frame so it plays back to front. You can create tweens, which we're not going to look at today, but you've got other options in your menus there. What I probably want to do though is I want to slow this down a little bit. To do that, I'm going to click on the time down here and I'm going to do just a bit of a test. I'm going to say wait half a second before changing to the next frame. I'll play that again. And I'm going to change it to 0 0.2. Now what you can do is down here where it says forever, you can ask if you want it to play the animation once, if you want it to play three times, if you want it to loop forever, or choose your own. So I'm going to say forever, so it loops over and over. So once we've done that, we have our GIF. It's that easy to set up to create a moving image. We need to export it now, so we need to get it out in the GIF file format, so we can then actually use this in our projects. So I'm going to go File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. So I want to create a GIF. So if I go to Preset, this is Photoshop's preset settings. I'm going to go to Preset, GIF, 128 Dillard. And Photoshop is going to apply its preset settings for that preset. For the colors, I'm going to up it to 256, which just means better quality. Down the bottom, it gives me the option again to change the looping. I'm going to leave it at forever. If you wanted to make the file size smaller, you could change the width and the height here, and that would change the size of the images as they come out. You can then preview this before exporting, and my preview has loaded in the browser. Now you can see because I've used all different images, the sizes are all over the place. You won't have that problem if you use all the same image sizes from the same camera when you create yours, but mine is a bit stretched because of that. Just bring the size down. And by reducing the size down to 2000, I can now at least see all the images in there. Probably also runs a bit fast still for what I'd like, but we have a GIF image running over and over. Once you're happy with that, you press save, 
choose where you want to save the file, give it a name, and press save. And you will then have a .gif file saved on your computer, and you can see in the preview we have our animation, our loop. So a simple, easy way to create a GIF image.